हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर फाइव पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एज वी नो मैटर अराउंड अस एग्जिस्ट इन वेरियस फॉर्म्स एलिमेंट्स कंपाउंड्स एंड मिक्सचर्स एंड एलिमेंट्स आर मेड अप ऑफ ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ पार्टिकल्स दो आर एटम्स अराउंड अस 118 एलिमेंट्स आर देयर आउट ऑफ दीज वन एलिमेंट्स All have different properties, and only 94 elements are naturally occurring. As different elements were discovered, scientists gathered more and more information about these elements, and uh, they were thinking about a definite set of properties or a pattern by which they are studying the elements known at that time. They can be arranged, and their study will become. Easy to understand. In a shop, shopkeepers just classify certain materials. Likewise, soaps, bathing soaps, are stacked somewhere else in comparison to the washing soaps. And detergents are placed somewhere else. Biscuits are placed somewhere else in the shop. Similarly. scientists made several attempts to classify those elements on the basis of their properties and obtain an orderly arrangement of elements out of chaos in the earliest attempt lavoisier classified those elements into the metals and non metals then further properties of those elements were discovered and knowledge of elements and their properties hence increased in 1817 a german chemist johann wolfgang dobelhaner arranged elements in the group of three elements called triads dobelhaner showed that the elements in a triad had similar properties and the atomic mass of the middle element is approximately equal to the average of the atomic masses of the other two elements in the year 1817 johann wolfgang dobelhaner a german scientist tried to arrange the elements with similar properties into groups he classified the elements in groups of three elements called triads For example he grouped lithium sodium and potassium in a family called alkali metals this group forms a dobelhaner triad in which sodium in is a the middle element between lithium and potassium next triad calcium strontium barium chlorine bromine iodine we will discuss them one by one Thus, we observe that the atomic mass of the middle element sodium of the triad is equal to average of the atomic masses of first lithium and third element potassium of the triad. In this triad, all the elements have similar properties. They all are metals. They all are having a valency of one. They all react with water to form basic solutions called alkalis. Similarly, the elements calcium. strontium and barium have similar properties these elements also form a dobelhaner triad because the atomic mass of middle element strontium is 87.6 u which is nearly the same as average 88.7 u of atomic masses of calcium and barium these elements are called alkaline earth metals because their oxides are alkaline in nature There is another important triad of elements chlorine bromine and iodine these also have similar properties and the atomic mass of middle element bromine 79.9u is nearly the same as the average 81.2u of the atomic masses of chlorine and iodine these elements are called halogens because they react with metals to form salts halo meaning means the salt and uh, gene means producer this group of similar elements could not be classified as triad because the atomic mass of middle element phosphorus is not average of other two elements nitrogen and arsenic 
The important drawback of Doberaner's classification was that all known elements could not be arranged in triads. He could identify only three triads from the elements known at that time. That's all about Doberaner's classification. Now in the next video, we will discuss about next classification, Newland's law of octave. Thanks for watching.